I do have several people coming through in the spirit world, actually, as I'm doing this reading. It's wow. It kind of feels sort of like there's lots of different people here that would like to communicate with you. And they're, they're kind of giving me, they are giving me the feeling of um, this is a, it's almost like a family reunion. You know, they're, wow. what they're telling me is that you're a very strong person. You're a very positive person. You're a very loving person. Um, and you have that as part of your energy and you try to be that way. But they said on the inside, you're crying. And they said that you are really struggling a lot on the inside, but you're, you're trying to be strong and keep things together and stuff. But they are telling me that you are definitely suffering from a broken heart. Um, they do talk about the soulmate, boyfriend, husband, fiance, whoever would be that role um, in spirit who left in August. Um, so I don't know where, I don't get like labels like husband or they don't talk like that. I just know that there's a soulmate, love of your life, somebody that you were very much in love with, not like you love your father or your mother or something. This is a romantic love person who's coming through. And they're telling me that you, um, I, 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 to me, it feels unexpected. I don't know if maybe you did know that he was sick, but it still feels like the loss has hit you in a very unexpected way. And they're telling me that this is somebody who you were very blessed to have in your life. Um, you, you, I feel like it was a relationship where even though you were together for many years, you really never grew old of each other and you really enjoyed being around each other. And I feel like there was such a strong connection with this man. Um, he, to me when I connect to him. And, and so I know that he is coming through. And like I said, they keep taking me into August. So do you understand this? Yes. Okay. So just know as I'm connecting, he's coming through. And I just want to, because like I said, it's literally, they're kind of putting him in the middle. And then there's all these people that are kind of gathered around him, but it's almost like if you like, as I'm looking at you, it's like, he's there right with you. And then there's a whole bunch of people that have come in with him too. So I just know that the spirit world is, is, you know, they're trying to um, support you right now because they know that um, this has been very hard for you to, to lose him and stuff. Do you understand as I'm connecting also <clears throat> that I'm, um, that I'm, um, 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 that I, I would be, um, and I just want to clarify one thing. So when they're talking about August and they're talking about soulmate and they're talking about you losing your soulmate, that all goes with one thing. That's one person you lost your, your soulmate or your husband or your boyfriend in August. Is that right? No, no, nope, it was July. So end what of, is end of July. Tom. Okay. J j end of July. So maybe, yep, maybe real, real close. Okay. So that's probably what I'm picking up on then. So maybe, maybe the more loss of it was more August. It's interesting though. Usually they'll give me like the actual month. So that's kind of interesting, but if you're saying end of, but you did lose your boyfriend, husband, you know, soulmate um, person and it was recent, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, yeah. when I connect to this gentleman, I feel a gentleness with him. I feel a kindness with him. So I don't know if you would understand this. I'm also hearing a name like Ronald or Donald or Ronald <laughs> or Don. So do you understand that? Yeah, Donald. Okay. And I hear that name three times. So that means to me that we have him coming through with that name. Is that your husband's name? Yes. Okay. But he's giving me that name two other times. So there must be other people in the spirit world that have that name. There must be two other Donalds. Um, there could be somebody in the living world that he would talk about Donald. But there, there's, there's a oh. reference to the name Donald twice oh. beyond your husband. Okay? <laughs> yes. Um, and I also know as I'm connecting here too, there's a lady in spirit that I'm connecting to. She tells me that She's not necessarily probably the main person that you think about when you think about the spirit world, but she wants to let you know that she is around you. Um, I see her as an older woman. I see that she had mobility problems at the end of her life. I feel that she passed a long time ago. Um, she comes in more like a grandmother vibration or, or even great grandmother. And I do hear the name Mabel. 
Um, so do you have a Mabel who went to the spirit world? No. I, I think you do. Maybe you don't remember or don't, you know, remember, you have to think about everybody, you know, living or deceased. So I'm going to say, write that down. Um, okay. I did. I, I want to just tell you, there is literally about 15 people here that have come through. Um, oh. And so that is the level to which they're trying to support you on the other side and help you. Um, because I feel like it's almost like, I mean, Again, they're telling me you're a very strong person. You're a very positive person. You're trying to keep it together. But I, I feel like they're almost like, oh my God, emergency, you know, 911, you know, Terry needs us. So they really are trying to wrap you up in love. And I hope that you are feeling that. I also hear the name Robert in spirit. Um, this <laughs> comes through like a fatherly figure. Um, and I definitely get a sense of humor with this gentleman. I feel <laughs> you like to tease and joke around. Um, does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. And when I connect to Robert too, I also want to say with love, I feel that he would have occasionally uh, definitely used a swear word. Does that make yeah. sense? To you? Okay. Because, Holy man. Yeah. Cause when he comes through to me, they literally come through with their personality. So he's like, he goes, what the hell is this shit? What the fuck are we doing? What is this? Um, and so I know that he comes through in this kind of, I almost want to say that he gives me the feeling that he, he might've kind of been grumpy or sort of, but it, it was almost in a joking way. I don't, I don't feel that he was like a mean person, but he kind of liked to give people a hard time. He, he literally is telling people the, again, they, they give me their words, their phrases. This is not me speaking, but I feel like he tells me that he liked to bust people's balls. Um, <laughs> So he likes to get a rise out of people. That's what I feel with Robert. And I know that he's telling me um, when he comes through, uh, this is the man though that he's given me. He has a very sturdy energy. So I yeah. want to say when yeah. I connect to Robert that he was a strong man in spirit physically. But I also feel he was just a very strong person too. I feel like he's somebody that, you could go, like, he was kind of always there for you. And one of the things telling me is he, he kind of puts his hand on your shoulder. And he says, it's okay. We are going to get through this. We're going to be okay. Things will be okay. Um, because like I said, when I connect to him, um, there's a... Oh. Hello, Thomas. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on and stuff, so I don't know. Does that sense to you? Thomas, we lost you for a minute. We couldn't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yep, we can okay. hear you. Now. Like I said, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if it's on your end or my end. I, I think it might be more your end, but that's fine. But you can hear me. I think all I just, all I was saying actually was, do you understand that? And, and yep. Okay, so you understand. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I also want to say too, um, as I'm connecting to you too, um, they are talking about, um, cause I, I want to just say this. So just so I'm understanding this, cause like I said, I've got so many people here, so many people that are loving you and, and coming through, but I just want to ask you as I'm connecting, um, there's, um, there's, um, um, the guy that I was describing a little bit more that was kind of the funny guy, um, where does that connect for you? Is that more your father or who is that? That was my stepfather, Thomas. Okay. But let me ask you something because I'm getting a feeling about this. Was he like a father to you in any way? Like, was he yep. something that kind of yep. was important to you? Yep. Okay. So that's probably the reason I'm feeling that is he's like, can I ask you, because I was getting a feeling of almost like adoption. So I feel like if he didn't adopt you, he must have been close to you for a long time. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Did yeah. he, can I ask you, did he help raise you or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So he really was like a father figure to you. Yes. Okay. And that's, that's why he's coming through so strongly. Because I was going to say, if it's just a stepfather, but you, you know, like later in life, I don't think, yeah. they, but if he was really like a fatherly guy to you, then I think that makes sense. He would come through. So he's definitely coming through. I want to know also um, who had the very, um, who had the big garden or who did the thing with the gardening or why am I seeing things about the garden? Was somebody very connected to their garden? 
My husband. Okay. Because I'm seeing very detailed garden. Um, like, I don't know if you would understand this, but it's like they're giving me the feeling that this was like, you know, got to have the garden, got to have everything set up with the garden. So I don't know if your husband was, um, was he very particular about his garden? Yes. Like very, everything's got to be sort of. A, yes. Yeah. Because that's yes. the way that he's giving me. He's also telling me to tell you too, because he's telling me that this is, but he's saying that everything went downhill at the end very quickly. Um, so does that make sense with your husband where he would be telling me that it was like, you know, he passed um, again, I, I don't want to say it was very sudden um, because I do feel like he was having some health things, but he's just kind of showing me like, boom, everything went down very quickly. Could you understand that at all? Yes. Okay. And he's telling me that it was almost like there was no way to kind of reverse this or fix this or anything like this. I mean, he's literally telling me it was just boom, you know, everything was just go kind of gone. And yeah. Uh, can I ask you this? Cause he's telling me this. He says it was very confusing with the doctors. There was something with the doctors where um, you felt like you were not really getting all the right information. Um, you felt like you were not um, being told the right things or something. I don't want to say that it's necessarily like, um, you know, you were being lied to, but could you, could you understand that at all? That there was a lot of, <laughs> confusion okay. at the end in that way would that make sense to you yes yes he's literally talking about your partner he's literally i mean your partner husband whatever it doesn't matter it's just the love of your life god but he is telling me also that you were he says people were holding my hand at the end people oh. were holding my hand at the end so i i don't know if he could really um i don't know if he could really talk um but he's saying that People could people were um, holding his hand at the end. So would that make sense? Yes. Okay. And you were holding the hand and holding his hand and things like that. You did do that. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Because I do feel like he is talking about that. Um, he's also talking about too, as I connect to him, that somebody would have his fishing box, or somebody has actually kept his fishing box. Um, so does somebody have his fishing box or um, is there, it, does somebody have his tackle box or something like that? Yeah. Well, that My brother key. does, yeah. Okay. Now I wanna ask you this, cause he's bringing this up to me. Is there a blended family? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I just wanna ask you, are some of your children kind of like, almost like how your stepfather was, but are, do you have children that are separate from him, but you guys were kind of all one big family? Do you understand that? Yes. I just want to understand this. Hold on one second. So can I ask you something? The, the, biologically, the children that are with you right now that are stand, that are kind of, you said are there with you, do yeah. they have a different father? Yes. <laughs> Okay. But this guy was also very important to them and 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 they did know this guy too and yes. were close to him as well. Is that right? Yes. I feel their biological fathers coming through. Is he <laughs> passed? Yes. Okay. He's coming through. And um it's funny because uh Robert uh Robert, who's Robert? My stepfather. Okay, we're back with him then. So Robert, it's funny, he's talking about uh, the guy that is the biological father of your, the bio, the other guy. And yeah. Robert goes, oh my God, he goes, this guy's a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I think he's joking. I actually feel yeah. like it's said in a loving way. <laughs> and spirit is telling me that even if there was some difficulties and shortcomings that they, that they, that he did have, um, I, I feel that there was a healing that happened in this lifetime with that. So I yeah. feel like your children were able to forgive that. They were able to move on from that. And do you understand this? So I just want to ask you this. I don't know what the label is, but so what is that? Like your first husband or something? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then you divorced him or whatever. And, which yep. I and then you were with this other guy who died recently. Yes. Do you understand your first husband telling me that 
he wants to send you love and respect and says that even though you had some difficulties and you really did not see eye to eye about things, that you always made it, you never tried to interfere in the relationship that your kids had with him. Like you allowed them like, well, if that's their father and if they want to be connected to him, you kind of, it's like, you know, sometimes people divorce and then they kind of manipulate the children. But your yeah. husband that went to spirit, the first one is saying that you always just try to respect whatever that was. And like, even though you had difference with her, you didn't project that into your children. Do you understand that? Very much, very yeah. much. Because he's telling me that you did that. And he says that it was something where um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't always, I don't feel necessarily easy for you to do that. Um, right. and I feel like, I, I, I feel like there were things that he did that you could have experienced. Now I do want to tell you who's Ed. <laughs> my, uh, that was my first husband. Okay. So yes, I'm hearing from Ed now. Ed's coming through now. And, uh, it's funny too, because your, your husband who just died recently he is just the, he's so sweet and kind. And he's just kind of like, okay, this one's talking now. Okay. That one's talking. Um, <laughs> and, I, and, and he's just kind of like letting them do their thing and stuff. He, I don't know, he, your, 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 your second, your other, the husband that died recently, he feels a little bit more gentle or a little yeah. bit more yeah. like, I don't know. He, I feel like he was a little bit more like he had his act together a little bit. Yeah. The, the guy, the Ed guy feels very, he had like a very chaotic energy. Now, one of the things that he's telling me <laughs> uh, and Ed is telling me, he could have never talked to you about this in life because he, it wouldn't have been like him to really talk about stuff like this, but he, he's telling me that he, he really did try to do his best in his relationship with you. I feel that he was raised with, a, I feel that Ed was raised with a lot of trauma. Uh, and I feel that he's telling me that he just could not overcome that, you know? So he, and, and I feel that I actually literally feel like he, um, and, and what, what, you know, what I'm getting from Ed is that his his heart was very um, his heart was shut down, um, and that wasn't because he didn't want to love his children or love people. But it's almost like sometimes when you go through so much pain, you kind of shut things down a little bit. Does that make sense to you? Totally. Yeah. Totally. So what I feel like with Ed is he got to the place where he was just like he had a wall up, you know, and what he's telling me is he, he did get better about things yep. and, he, and he did work on this and he, and he did try to be better about this. Um, but he, you know, I, I feel, I get a, it's interesting because I feel like with Ed, I get a real toughness and I, and I get the feeling that he felt like to be a man, you got to be tough. You got to be real and I, I don't feel that with your husband that you just lost. He was more like, you can be a man and be like a, a, a yeah. you, know, you can, you can be a loving person, you yeah. can be a gentle person, and you could still be a man. Cause you know, yeah. and I just feel like, you know, the other one was more, but um, he does say that there was a peace made in life. And he does say that um, he actually also says there was a lot of healing that happened through the grandchildren. So I feel like he's saying that I, I guess maybe when the grandchildren came into the world, maybe he was able to be different or something. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you understand that. And he keeps showing me his purple heart. <laughs> he's very proud of that. He said, you know, I got a purple heart. Oh my God. <laughs> he goes, I actually got two of them. <laughs> um, so I, 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 when I'm connected, oh my God. He keeps showing me, he goes, this is a, this is from this thing. And this, he's showing me all his military stuff. And Robert is saying, he goes, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about that. Put that away. Um, <laughs> so I know that they are, they're, they're, there's such a love that is coming from these three men, but it's funny because they're all just such different energies to me. You know, they're just such different personalities and different energies, but um, I know that they're helping you with this and stuff. And like I said, they're, they're telling me, um, I mean, I feel like with your stepfather and your, your other person, you know, your, your, your first husband, um, uh, 
think it's just funny because I, I can tell that Ed just drove you nuts. I mean, it's just so funny. <laughs> you can tell that he, he just drove you crazy. But I mean, I, yeah. I just feel that it, he couldn't, he couldn't be different. You know, he just was that yeah. way. Yeah. Um, and they're even telling me in spirit, they're saying that was Ed. That's just how Ed is. That's how he was. And um, I, I feel that he, um, yeah. Can I ask you, um, um, Terry, was, was Ed, was he, was he abusive? Oh my oh. God. Yes. Okay. Again, he's not, you know, there was another side of him, but I do want to tell you, this is what I see with Ed. Wow. I, I actually, <clears throat> I'm seeing, cause they show me metaphor. <clears throat> so I'm seeing the book, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> There was two, yeah. there was like two sides to Ed. There was there yeah. was a side that everybody loved. Oh my God, Ed, we love Ed. Yeah. And, and there was the, the crazy side. And there was just yeah. those two personalities. And I think because you um, you know, you were his partner, you know, you probably saw more of the crazy. It doesn't mean that the other part, it doesn't mean that either part was not really who they were both are who they you know he was both people you know um and I, that's what i'm feeling that he you know he he just you know he just was i mean he he had kind of you know both sides about things um um your for, husband that just passed he's talking about bringing the family together gathering the family together so i don't know if you're trying to um see the family i don't know if you're trying to get the family together for him i i don't really know how that all connects um, yeah he's talking about that and he keeps taking me back to this over and over and over and over and he's talking about something with um the doctors and there was something that happened with the doctors and it was very confusing and the doctors so i just want to ask you when your husband went to spirit, were you not getting all the right information about the doctors? Were they lying to you? Were, was it not lying? Was it hard to get information or something? I, somehow I feel like something like you weren't getting all the information or something. Does that make sense to you? Yes, very much so. Okay. And they're telling me that, you know, this really, um, and can I ask you, were you doing a lot of calling and tech you know, like i feel like you were trying to get information but you really were not getting the information that you wanted is that right yes okay um and were you calling the doctors a lot i keep getting this feeling of like consistent calling 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 were you doing a lot of that yes Okay. And it was like the spirits telling me that you'd, you'd hit walls. You wouldn't get answers. People, you know, like you wouldn't get it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to say also, and I feel like I, I do need to tell you this. Nobody is powerful enough. Nobody, you know, me, you, anybody here, nobody is strong enough to make somebody stay in the world. You know what I'm saying? So when it's somebody's time to pass, you know, they pass. And when it's somebody's time to be in the, you know, that really is a soul contract that has to do with you and that person. Just like, you know, someday you'll go to the spirit world. Nobody can make you stay here. That's your own soul path. So even though it's hard for us to understand, I do feel that your husband and spirit want you to know that it was, it, he's accepted his passing. Um, he's saying that he, he, he understands he's at peace with it. Um, and he keeps talking about that. And I, I just feel like I need to tell you this. He's also talking about something where um, traveling with you guys and going to the beach or <laughs> going to the water, or he's talking about that. He's saying that you guys like to spend time at the water. You would go to the beach or there was a a beach place or something like that. Oh. Does that make sense to you? Oh my God, Thomas. Holy yeah. smokes. Yeah. Um, because he is talking about that and stuff. And I want to say when I connect to him too, um, I just feel this and stuff. I don't know why, but for some reason I want to drop you. I, I, I want to, in my mind with your husband, go to the memories that you would have in Key West. <gasps> and um that's exactly where he's putting me and he, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll bring me to a memory that was just a beautiful memory that they had with you and he's telling me oh that 
He's literally telling me it was like paradise. Um, he's literally telling me you just had the most amazing time there. You were so connected. Um, and um, he's, uh, he, you know, he keeps, you know, he's, uh, he keeps telling me about that and stuff. And, and I want to say also, too, I feel this. Um, that uh, oh. that he is um, he, he says that it's okay. It's uh, hold on one second. Now, can I just ask you? And I don't know. In my logical mind, I'm thinking maybe because of all this COVID stuff or something. But were you having trouble seeing him at the end? Could you not go and see her, your husband? No, couldn't do it. Hmm. Okay. So he was in some sort of facility and you couldn't see him at the end. Is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. I understand. Because he's literally talking about you being separated and you couldn't see him. Now, I do want to tell you, he's telling me to tell you nobody dies alone. Okay. So even if people are not there in the physical world, nobody goes to spirit alone. Okay. So he had loved ones that helped him cross over. So I figured he, that. Yeah, he was not alone. And actually, I know it sounds crazy, but your first husband and your and your stepfather, they helped him cross over. There's no there's no ego about, well, that's my first husband. That's, you know, they don't that's not how they think over there. These two men helped this man cross over. I also know Dorothy was there, so I don't know who that was. Um, but there was a lady Dorothy there too that helped him that was seen in a long flowing dress. Um, so he had people there that guided him. Angels, um, actually nobody. It's impossible that anybody can die alone. There's always somebody there. Even the most miserable person who everybody didn't like, they have a guardian angel, they have a grandparent, they have a mother, they have somebody who is going to help them go into the spirit world. So nobody dies alone. Everybody's always with somebody. So there were people that helped him cross over. So he wants you to know that. He is telling me he will be visiting the house a lot. He is telling me you will feel this. Are you still in the house that you guys lived in together, Terry? No, Thomas. Oh. Okay. So you've moved, moved since he died? Yes. Okay. So I think, you know, that doesn't really matter because they keep track of us, not possessions. So they will, they will, and actually I'm hearing that they say that that was the right decision. So they're okay. actually, they're happy that you did that. Um, so they, you will actually feel him, you know, he'll, he, he is going to actually visit you and come to you and you, you will sense him there and stuff. So it might not be, you know, all the time because they also are kind of on their own spirit path too, but, um, you will connect with him and, and feel him there. So, um, we've got, you know, I, we actually went a little bit over, but I was yeah. happy to do that, but I, I wanted to just ask you if you had a question and then we'll probably have to wrap up. Thomas, I have a grandfather and a grandmother that passed. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, any, I, mother's I parents? what your mother's parents? Yes. Okay. Um, can I ask you, were they like, were they like a second set of parents to you? Like, mm -hmm. were you that close to them? Yes. Okay. So, because I see you going back and forth, back and forth a lot with them so i don't know if did you live with them no but i was there a lot okay so yes um, yes i did live with my grandfather when i got older yes okay so the one who's coming through to me feels like a male energy that's what i'm feeling there's a male energy that i'm getting and um i'm also hearing a name like anthony Oh my god. So oh my god. I want to say with your grandfather because he does step forward. Like I said, sometimes you just have to ask. I mean, I told you there's literally 20 people here. So um, <laughs> what I feel with him is his message to you is to not he says do not forget the family that you come from. And he says to do not forget that we are strong people. Um, your grandparents were very, very strong. They were strong people. They, they did not have it necessarily, I don't feel easy in life. And they made it happen and they worked together and they, they, so what I'm hearing from the spirit world is they say, do not forget that you come from strong people. Okay. Um, okay. 
Um, and that's one of the things that they want you to know. Um, also, your grandfather had psychic abilities. Did you know that? No. Well, he did. He had intuitive abilities. He was very intuitive and psychic. Now, sometimes people, you know, did not talk about that. Or sometimes people felt ashamed about that or something like that. So they might not have always shared that. But your grandfather actually had abilities to connect in a deeper way and stuff. And so um, I do feel like he is, you know, he, he is bringing that through that he had um, kind of a, a, I feel like a, 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 a metaphysical um, energy to him. Um, and like I said, they're telling me, um, your grandfather is telling me that um, I don't know if he was very traditionally educated, like lots of school, but he was very wise. He was a smart man. Um, yeah. and what I'm hearing him say is they're saying, he says, uh, take a deep breath. You are going to get through this. Um, we all love you. And do not forget that you have a tremendous amount of inner strength. So, okay, good. Um, well, I'm glad we did this reading. I hope we'll maybe be able to connect another time or something. Thomas, Thomas, I have never had a reading this powerful. I am so grateful to you. Oh, I'm grateful to you for, for being here and receiving the reading. Okay. Thomas, I just love you so much. Thank you. I love you too.